Hello all of you wonderful people and welcome back to another video from a breezy organization. I am on here today to talk about just a few things and how I am planning these tabs for my 2021 planner and how I've been using it so far in the life planner. If you are new here, we talk about all things digital planning, productivity, be just being organized in general. And if that is something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell to be notified of our new videos. We do post once a week for sure, sometimes twice a week. And uh, we would love to have you join our little family here on YouTube. So getting into today's video, first off, I must apologize. I have been behind the ball on getting some of my videos and content out. If you follow me on social media, I haven't posted a whole lot in the last week and a half or so um, on Instagram and here on YouTube I did not post a video during the week it's just this week this video that I'm posting now on Sunday and the reason for that is actually good I am working behind the scenes on some amazing stuff that is about to be released I am hoping I can get it done to be released by Black Friday if I can't it will be shortly thereafter um but I do have some exciting stuff coming. So if you see me MIA ever, I am probably working on something huge behind the scenes and it's just taking all the little bit of extra time that I have and I just don't have time to get together posts and videos like I normally would. So um, big planners usually just totally consume me and every time that I get a spare second to work on something, that's what I pick up instead of trying to um, get some new content out for you guys. So it is exciting. It's sad, but it's exciting. So definitely be watching our channel because we always do our new releases on YouTube, a new video, and it goes live when the video is live on YouTube. So, um, you definitely want to be around for that. So I will tell you that I have a new life planner coming out and a new design. So that's, that's the big secret. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have already seen some previews to that. So it's super exciting. So basically if you're new here, we do life planners where we have it, idgets. <laughs> We have inserts and widgets. I just combined the two. What would that look like, huh? Okay, so basically we have inserts and we have widgets and daily and weekly. And you guys know the spill. There are plenty of videos explaining the Life Planner on our channel. I went through and I um, decorated our um, November. Um, I did a November plan with me on screen. And so, um, you guys did get to see that. If you want to go back and look at that video, you can go back to our channel and look at that. I will be doing my December one on screen here in just a couple of days. Um, but basically this allows you to be able to put widgets in this area here. So I have added my, um, Christmas gifts, which I really, really like how that is turning out, um, here on my overview. Now, normally I am so done with Christmas. Like I have already bought all the toys and all the Christmas presents for everybody by about this time every year. And as you can see, I am very behind <laughs> this year. This planner is overtaking me as far as my spare time and getting some other stuff done. So um, anyways, I want to discuss with you about how I'm using these inserts. So I've already showed you kind of how I use the overview page and how I decorate the monthly. Here in the next couple of weeks, I'll show you how I use my weekly and my daily pages and how I organize all of my widgets, inserts, and stickers in the best way that I have found to organize them whenever I'm planning. But I want to talk to you about these five pages over here and how I've used them so far. Now, this is a new release, uh, this planner. So I've actually myself only been using it since November. So I am still getting used to a few things and how I can get the most out of it. So there's a few things that I am planning on doing down here at the bottom. As you know, we have a vision board and goals that's, um, yearly, and you also have one for months. So, um, I have started planning this. I'm not done with this yet, but I want this to be the yearly, um, things that I, I only need just an overview of, right? So I'm going to add in my business widget where I can keep track of January through December. And then I have a savings and a debt tracker because that's something that I just want to be able to constantly look at and see where we're at as far as all of that. So that's going to be down here on my vision board. I explained how you can make these widget backgrounds in one of my other videos, but basically you go over here to the sticker icon. And then I have these, um, transparent stickers that match the planner and you're going to copy and paste these onto a page that has that background and I like I said I did show this in another video so hopefully um I mean I'm not going to take the time to do everything uh to it right now but basically you're going to want to copy this and then you're going to go like earlier in the year and you're going to hit actually we could have just done it right then um let's see 
let's go back here and then we can paste these and basically you're going to move these around and you're going to click on image and you're going to click on this and you're going to resize this to where it's the exact same size and you're going to do that for all three of these colors and then you're going to copy lasso all of them and copy okay so say we had whoops say we had all these sized right you're going to copy them right okay and then what I like to do is go to my stickers page. I like to add another page behind it by clicking these four squares up here. And this page is highlighted and you can hit the arrow down and you can add the page after. And then I already did that and then I pasted them here. So now anytime that I want the widget background, I can just go to my stickers, highlight this, and they are ready to use on whatever page I need to use them on. So there's a little info on that. But now going back to our um, index, which is how you get to that is by hitting your spine. Um, so one thing that I did over here that was kind of cool, um, obviously I didn't use this all year long. So I wanted to highlight the months that I actually have stuff on my vision boards and on my notes. So I know that I can click these and go right to um, the pages where I have entered stuff in. So I liked that idea. Also, if you need to use the notes or the vision board, because the vision board is just a blank page, right? So if I click on February vision board, it's just a blank page. So if you want to add inserts into this and not use Use them on a monthly basis that is totally doable so what you would want to do is click on like any pen tool make it the biggest one make it white um, and say say you want January through December or say you just want to call this something different all you would do is highlight this which actually it's not exactly the same color white so another way that you could do this would just be to lasso a white and take screenshot and then copy it and then hit paste and then you have this white square here okay so then you can just tap that on top of there and then you could write in say I want this to be um, my oils instead so we're just gonna go through and rename all of these um, so what well, we're not really going to but I'm saying you could um, so basically um, I'm going to move this just a little bit, but it is going to move that background one too. So let's resize this just a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So this is my oils. Now what's really cool about this is even though I have covered this up, it still works. It's still a link. So if I go and I take this little slash thing off and I click on this, it is still going to take me to that page. So say, Hey, I don't need a vision board for every month. Okay, you've got 12 more pages here that you can link whatever you want those pages to be. So that is definitely a way that you can customize your planner if it is something that um, you don't really need. So there's a little tip on that. And then over here, um, I have my labels made. So I did breezy organization. So my tab number one is all business stuff. And again, I duplicated these pages to make more pages of inserts and widgets and stuff that I needed. I'm not going to show that page. It's got a lot of personal information on it. So, um, but that's all my business stuff and then all things travel. So this is travel. So I'm going to click over. I absolutely love to travel. I haven't traveled to very many places, but I'm hoping to one day to be able to. Um, so I have my little travel bucket list over here and I can mark off as I go to these places. So I love looking at that. And I also love making these whole pictures down here at the bottom. I just thought that was the coolest thing. And these are from our Alaska trip that we took earlier this year. And these are from um, a little bit older vacations up here. So I just put a little vacation pictures in here and then I can keep track of the next um, place that we're wanting to go, how much it's going to cost and how far away we are from saving for it. So I absolutely love, love, love the travel list. And then I added another page behind it and this is packing list. So this is super cute too. <laughs> um, basically I did the same thing like I showed you over there. Um, so I'm going to hit lasso. I'm going to take off the images because I don't want it to move the packing list. Um, but if see if I move this, I just colored that in with a um, marker color using a black marker. And then I put in my name. So now I have a packing list for everybody in my family. So I haven't got to actually try this yet, but I just used the marker and I scribbled out that area that said... Um, all the things are packing or whatever it said and then I typed in the names for everybody in my family and each time that you gotta you have to go pack then you could just lasso or use the erase tool clear it out and then you are ready to start your packing list again so um, I also added here down at the bottom each packing list has pretty much uh, pictures of the people that it's for so I thought that was super cute so that's my two pages for my travel 
Uh, we can hit the spine and go back to the next one is the party. So I always like planning our kids' birthday parties and Christmas parties and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to be redoing this for our Christmas party coming up. And then my daughter's birthday is in January and I'm going to start planning that. So we actually just had my son's party here in November. He had a Curious George theme and this is what I used to go through all of his party things. And then I'm going to be erasing all of this, like I said, and redoing it. So this is just an ongoing thing that I love to do. So I have one of them named the party. And then number four is going to be my switch out one. So um, whenever Christmas is here, it'll be Christmas. And then I may switch it out for different things as um, time goes on. So right now it's Christmas list. And then I'm duplicating these pages. Um, this is my daughter's Christmas list for right now. And then I just duplicate the pages afterwards after this one for each person in my family, which I said I was behind. So, you know, ideas are great, but I've got to get to it. <laughs> Okay, so back to the spine one more time. My last one is in the word. So I love this one. Uh, our faith widgets were just released last Sunday. So they've been out for a week and you guys have been loving them. So thank you so much for all the reviews and the comments. Y'all, it totally means the world to me when you leave me something that says that this just was really useful. You um, got all it done with it or it was just what you needed. That just it's everything to me. So thank you so much for taking the time to leave those notes for me. Um, but I absolutely love this page. So I am still um, tinkering with it here and there to figure out exactly the way that I want to use it. But so far, it has worked great this way. I have on the left hand side, these are all people and things that I pray for um, on a daily basis. So it's it's my family, it's my sister in law so that are fixing to get married. Um, it's my brother and his wife. Uh, and just everybody that I, I continuously pray for down here. This is my pastor and his wife and um, my cousin and her husband. So um, these are just like immediate needs that I'm praying for right now. And then I have missionaries and church family stuff written there. So, but I love having pictures along with just lists. I think that's a great way to whenever you sit down and pray, you can actually look at these people and be praying for them and make sure you don't forget the ones that you definitely want to make sure you cover every day in prayer. So I absolutely love having this little prayer wall, prayer page here. And then over here on the right hand side, this is where I'm going to keep track of the, uh, my Bible reading, the, uh, my praying and the fasting. And then over here on the prayer list, I'm going to actually, in, you know, list individually other than my main prayer needs right here. And then this will be changed out, you know, as, as need be. And then the giving tracker, I'm doing the quarterly down here to kind of keep track of all of that. So I am absolutely loving this. Um, I called it in the word page. I could have called it faith page, whatever you want to name it. But the original way that I was using it um, is for these inserts that are also in my shop that's for the customizable planner. So remember, all of our inserts will totally work on these pages as well. And I actually use our oil inserts um, for these extra pages to keep track of how I mix different ones together and what they're used for if you're into essential oils. Those are great inserts for you to pick up and they fit this planner perfectly. So I like using one of these for each day. So I write down specific prayers for that day, um, blessed gratitude area, and then scriptures I read and thoughts for that day's devotion. So I really like the layout of this insert and I just duplicate these and I keep them, you know, in my planner as I duplicate them. So, um, Anyways, that is how I am using my five tabs over here to the side. So I would love to see how you guys use your tabs. So be sure to tag me on Instagram or on Facebook if you do a post. I would absolutely love to see what you do. Um, I may even repost um, some of those things that I see. So I would really love to see how you're using the Life Planner. I hope this was beneficial today to show you how you can change up just a few things um, in the Life Planner to truly make it your own, to use the inserts, and um, just how I'm using some of the widgets and labeling my five things over here. So I'm going to do a video coming up soon of my whole planner and my whole setup for 2021 so be looking for that organization tips the new surprise planner that is coming out and some other surprise things i'm working on in the background uh be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will catch you on the next one happy planning